Yeah, yo, welcome back to the views, man. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Bro, what? What are you doing? I'm trying to film a video. What are you doing? I don't care. Don't you see me trying to sleep? I don't care if you're filming a video. I don't care if you're trying to sleep, my guy. It's one of it's oh one o'clock. I don't care, man. You know how long I was up last night? I don't even know why you on camera anyway looking like that. Looking like what? You need a haircut. The shirt wrinkled as hell. Boy, get off the camera. I'm trying to sleep. Bro, don't talk. I don't care. You got five minutes. Five minutes. How you going? It's my house. Don't tell me what I, what time yes. I asked. I don't even know why you even on the camera right now. You, what are you talking about? Go somewhere. It's my house. You're talking about five minutes. I don't even want to do this intro. Let's just get into the video. This is the reason why I'm gonna shine. Tell them money, this is the reason why the time's mine. Tell them money, this is the reason why I'm nigga grind. Tell them all I gotta get it down. Chuck a lie. All my niggas gonna ride in a four five. Two was good, yo. Welcome back to the views, man. Yo, I had to get a fresh cut, yo. Y'all saw the intro. And he was disrespecting me, bro. I couldn't go out like that. I couldn't even finish the whole vlog. But look, here we are, man. Right now, starting the vlog off outside, walking Zine, Zine. Zina, hey, what's up? Man, y'all know her, man. She takes forever to pee. You need to go pee? Go pee. I'm trying to get her to go poop. Her mom is gone right now. Michaela's out. She has something special to do today. So I'm letting her do her thing. It's me and Zine today right now. So I'm like, man, let me get ahead and tell y'all what's been going on in my life. As y'all can tell by the title today, man, I finally, finally got my first check from YouTube. But let me tell you right now, I was waiting on this for a long time. I've been doing YouTube since 2018. I feel like I've been on YouTube forever, but it's, in reality, it's only been two years, and I finally, finally, finally got my first check. Now, I'm gonna expose how much it is, but first, I'm gonna break it down to you, tell y'all how everything went, and we're gonna continue with this vlog also. But let me go ahead, get the baby all set up, and I'm gonna get y'all set up, and we're gonna go over some analytics and all that for how much I got paid my first check from YouTube. Let's go. All right, y'all, so before we get into these analytics and before I jump into how much I made on YouTube, I just want to say that the feeling of getting that check was like, it was amazing. Like, regardless of how much it should have been, how much it was, how much it could have been, the fact that I made money online from a platform, from doing something that I love to do, was just great. Everybody does this video. Everybody, like, my first YouTube channel, my first one. So it was only right that I bring this to y'all. If you've been here since the beginning, I started my channel back in 2013. I didn't upload my first video till 2018. And here we are, mid 2020 towards the end. And it's a good feeling, especially to be monetized in that amount of time. Now, the steps that I took to get here was not easy. Everybody's going to tell you YouTube is a journey. And bro, they're not lying to you. I'm upset because some days my analytics are up, some days my analytics are down and I'm gonna tell y'all right now they've been super down you can go on my channel right now and just look at my views it's not great but the fact that I was actually able to get that check is amazing first thing if y'all don't know about YouTube you do need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers in order to be monetized monetized is when you start putting ads on your videos and then the ad generates money so make sure you, drop, you sign up for your Google Ads account make sure you got all your information your taxes because I'm gonna tell you for the longest time Yo, I was wondering why I wasn't seeing my threshold for how much I can get deposited into my account and it was because my tax information was not in there. So anybody that's new to YouTube and is trying to get monetized, make sure you check, I repeat, make sure you check your tax information on Google Ads because that is what held me up a long time. Also, they are going to verify your address. They will verify your account. So they will send you something in the mail. It could be like a little sense just so you can verify how much money that they deposited into your account and they can know that the account is yours. Or you can actually verify through your bank. So if you connect your bank online, they'll send you an email to verify that. And they'll send you like the last, like a confirmation number to your bank to get you officially monetized. I'm going to tell you all right now, the process is lengthy. Woo! And the process to get monetized is a grind. Right now, I believe I have over 130, 120 videos on my channel and at least 100 and 
At least a hundred of them was just plain work. Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody's success on YouTube is different. Some people make it real quick. Some people get monetized off of one, two, five, ten videos. Some people take years. And for me, I was lucky because it only took me a year and a half to do so, close to two years. The thing about monetizing your videos, you can choose how many ads you put in your videos. If it's shorter than 10 minutes, I probably only want to throw one or two ads in there for y'all. But that's just me being me. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get, I gotta get money somehow because y'all don't understand. Unless you're a creator, you don't understand the grind that goes into editing these YouTube videos. You literally have to put more hours into editing a 10 minute video than actually editing it for 10 minutes and that being it. It takes hours, especially if you do what I do. I like to do travel vlogs. Make sure that you dedicate that time. You gotta put your hours in, bro. I'm transparent with y'all about everything, okay? So lately, I've been working another job because the YouTube income is just not enough. It's not enough, so I do have another job full time that I just got hired at. It's kind of been taken away from me being able to upload on YouTube only because my mindset was just stuck on that job for these past couple weeks. But bro, I'm telling you, once you want something so bad, you will continue to work that job and follow your dream. And my dream is to be successful on YouTube. But I know damn why well I want a loyal fan base. I want real honest people that's here to support me. I'm not here for the bullshit. I'm not here for none of that. Now look, we're going to dive into the analytics. I'm gonna let you know where majority of this income came from, and then I will reveal how much I made on YouTube for my first paycheck. All right, guys, so here we are, man. We, this is the analytics for September, all right? As you can see, it says my views were up by 43.4K, my watch time was at 2.2 thousand, and my subscribers went up 948. And you can see my estimated revenue for this month for $79.31. This by far was my most successful month on YouTube. Now don't get me wrong, you see people out there that make thousands in a month. So the fact that I got $79 when I started from zero, whoo, that's, that's a breakthrough for me, bro. Now let me tell you, I got monetized in July of 2020. I got monetized during the whole coronavirus, everything, people sitting at home watching videos, and I finally was able to hit that threshold of 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours. So, and I scroll down, you can see my top videos this period. It was main one leading my girlfriend on to see how she reacts. Now, I told y'all a few videos ago, I believe it was the video when I said how to be successful on YouTube. I told y'all that this video right here just took off. It like, just one day, it just started going crazy. Like, it was getting mad traction. As you can tell, it got 31,174 views. Now look, compared to my other videos that's in the hundreds, this is the main video that drove the revenue for this month, bro. And when I tell you it drove revenue, it drove the revenue up for me, bro. That's the main reason why this number is at $79.31 because of this video. Now, a lot of people would say, you got 31,000 views, but only got $79. Like, you would think, the numbers don't add up with that, right? So let me go over here, let's go to the video, and let's check out the analytics for this video. So as you can tell right now, um, at the current moment, it's still getting views. It's been 20 views in the last 48 hours. But I'm gonna tell y'all what happened to this video in a second. But as you can tell, the video estimated a revenue of $58.80, so baby, $59 basically. The reason I got so many views and so less money, because you see people with 30,000 views get paid $1,000, $2,000 for the video. It's simply because of the content that this video has. As you can tell, it's leading my girlfriend on. It's a prank. So already YouTube doesn't like pranks. If y'all don't know that, YouTube does not approve of pranks, y'all. It was some things in the video that was a little, you know, sexual because, <laughs> look, if you gonna leave your girl alone, you gotta do it the right way, you feel me? So YouTube was like, hey, you know what? We gotta take you out the algorithm. What happened was I was getting all this traction. I was at 29,000 views, I believe. And then I got an email from YouTube, basically putting a yellow mark on my page, saying that this video does not fit the guidelines. It's too much going on. When they yellow mark your videos, you do not receive any ad revenue or close to little, basically none. You don't receive no ad revenue and they take you out the algorithm and they stop your video from being suggested. I was hot because y'all don't understand how much work I've been putting in, bro. And usually, if you listen to all the YouTube videos, everybody that's successful, they always tell you it just takes that one video for your page and your channel to start going crazy. And this was that one video for me. I was getting like over thousands of views every day. It was coming in. 
like I was like excited because I'm like, bro, people comment and they're leaving nice comments. I'm getting over a thousand subs. I was at a point where I started getting like 300 subs a day. That's how I got this many subscribers as I do today. So the fact that they took me out the algorithm because of this video, my channel, it, it started dying off. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It was a little hurtful because I put a lot of work in on my channel, y'all. Like I put so much work in. It don't make no sense. It's crazy. That's the thing about making money online. You know, it has its regulations, especially with YouTube. It has its ups and downs. So you have to be prepared for what comes with the content that you make. So I did get a little bit discouraged. I'm not going to lie. I was uploading uh, multiple times a week. Uh, now I'm currently uploading two or three times a week when I can. But I'm getting back in my groove. I'm getting my motivation back because I seen that y'all was liking the content. I got positive feedback. It kind of it kind of sucks seeing your numbers drop off. But in this game, it's all about your mentality. It's all about how bad you want it and how much are you willing to do. Seventy nine dollars and thirty one cents. That was the big money that I made from YouTube in one month. That should kind of give you an idea because that was September and that was November. And in between time, I got paid in October. So basically, since July all the way to October, this is when I tell y'all how much I was able to generate on YouTube to get my first check. Now, can we please get a drum roll for how much my first YouTube paycheck was? All right? My first YouTube paycheck was a hundred and three dollars and twenty two cents. A hundred three dollars and twenty two cents. Now let me tell you, that's not a lot. But like I said at the beginning of the video, man, it made me proud just to be able to make money online because this is the first time I ever got paid to do something that I love. Like it's, it's very encouraging. The only thing that was discouraging through this whole process was my video getting over 30,000 views and only generating $58 of ad revenue. That's it, but it's okay. It's a part of the process. Over here, we bounce back. We just learn from our mistakes, we improve, and we keep going, man. But look, one last thing I figured that y'all should know. There is a threshold for YouTube. So you can get monetized, correct? And you can only make $10 this month, $50 the next month, $79 the next month. Until you reach a threshold of $100, they will not give you any money. You can add up the total you made over your lifetime. If it made over $100, you will get paid. But if the total over your lifetime is not over $100, you will not get paid at all. With that being said, make sure y'all go out here, start grinding, get your pay, Get your money, but most of all, remain consistent. That is what will keep you on this platform and keep your money generated. And one thing that I do notice though, it gets easier. The views will come, bro. The more you generate people getting to your channel, the more money you will make. It will get easier over time, every month. But just remain consistent. Don't give up, keep fighting, because I can guarantee you, if I can do it, you can do it. I promise you. Promise. But I'm done talking, man. I feel like that was a little class session. I'm done. I, I dove y'all into my analytics. Y'all got my business enough. Listen. I will not be sharing Listen. any other paychecks until it's a really big one. All right. Tell them money, this is the reason why I'm gonna shine. Tell them money, this is the reason why the time's mine. Tell them money, this is the reason why I'm nigga grind. Tell them all I gotta get it down, chop a lot. All my niggas gon' ride in a four five. Ain't my shit never shy, get a little tired. And you know I double down to the J ride.